What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Hasbro Studio Series 86 Rumble, who is blue, according to Hasbro. They even put that right on the package for some reason. Uh, but this is a core class in terms of the scale, but it does fit nicely with the retail line and the other Studio Series 86 figures. And he did appear in the 86 movie, of course, so that's why he's in this line. He actually has some nice paint detail in him. Got silver paint here, red, yellow, more silver, blue paint here on the arms. Here's the back. It is a little gappy on the back, but to be expected for a tape. But overall, it looks pretty, pretty good from the front. Some nice details and paint on it. Articulation is pretty limited. The head can rotate around, can go up and down based on this ball joint here and a little bit of side to side. The arms can rotate around on this ball joint. You can go up to there. If you lift up on the shoulder joint, you can get up to there. So actually pretty versatile. Uh, no elbow joint though, so you can only get the arms out straight like that. Uh, nothing at the hands. You can fold them in, but that's about it. Legs go up to there, back to there, out to the side. You have a rotation at the knee, which is on a ball. Knee can bend well past 90 degrees due to the transformation. And the toe can go up and down. No ankle tilt on this little guy here. For his accessories, you get the classic things that you would expect. You get his two guns here. Now these don't actually fit in his hands. They fit on his arms. So you're going to put them here. Just peg him like that. And you got these kind of sidearm pieces. So you can fire them like that. You can also take those and move them to the back. So those will just plug in right here. Like so. And that also looks pretty cool. And of course you can use the Pile drivers here, these are painted pretty nicely too. They have that nice blue paint on them. So to put these on, you're going to close up the hands. And we already have it out to the side. It's supposed to be with that ball joint exposed. Those are going to slide into here. And it's a nice tight fit. So it works perfectly. And there you go. There's rumble, ready to rumble. Now you can actually extend these down if you could go too far, it comes off, but you can have one up and one down, so you can get a little bit of action there. Uh, but he does look really good with that. And for a quick side comparison, there it is next to the Earthrise Optimus Prime. I don't happen to have the Netflix or Earthrise um, sound wave here, but you can see it's going to fit in perfectly with your retail line and go nicely with that sound wave. And for another quick size comparison, there it is next to the Fans Toys version of Rumble. And obviously a uh, very different size. I just wanted to show you so you can get a sense of the size. Um, but also different colors. I think Fans Toys went with a pretty dark color here. This one kind of reminisces more to the movie colors, but there you go for comparison. All right, now let's get him transformed into his tape mode. And go ahead and take these off of the arms. And we can just set those aside. Take the guns off the back as well. The head is going to rotate 180 degrees and then come down and sit right there. The arms are going to come up and sit up here for now and just leave those there. The legs are going to rotate to the outside. These are going to come up and tab in like that. Push the feet in. Same on this side. Push the feet in. This is going to come down. There's a little tab right here. That's going to fit into the arm. Same on this side. Get that tabbed in. And there is your tape mode. Looks really good. That They actually put paint on here. I'm really surprised for our core class. Plenty of that silver and blue paint all over there. And you got the tape detail here. It really does look good. I'm impressed with the amount of detail they actually put into this little guy. And for scale, quickly, there it is again with the Netflix Optimus. Looks really nice. 
and fits in the chest of the Netflix Soundwave. So final recommendations on the Studio Series 86 Rumble. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5. This is a really good Studio Series figure. It's got some really nice articulation, plenty of paint, good accessories, appropriate for the character. The price point is great. This is $9 for core class. Um, and it does what it's supposed to do. I mean, it's it's really well done. There's a couple little waffles here on the pile drivers. Uh, but I did figure out you can actually rotate the arms the other way so that the ball joint is hidden on the back. So that definitely improves it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's very versatile as far as, uh, you know, display and posing. So I think it's really good. I recommend it. So if you're collecting retail, now obviously this is not going to go with Masterpiece or anything like that. But... If you're collecting retail, this is, this is great. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.